Unfortunately, the Black Stars of Ghana have crashed out of the Africa Cup of Nations, Cameroon 2021. The Black Stars lost 2-3 to the Comoros. This was a game that many were expecting the Black Stars to win. In the other game in Group C, Morocco and Gabon drew 2-2. It means that Morocco finished top of the group with seven points, Gabon second with five points. So what it means is that those two teams have qualified for the next round of the competition. The Black Stars unfortunately crash out. Comoros have a chance of finishing, progressing as one of the best third place teams. This is the first time since 2006 that the Black Stars have crashed out at the group stage of the competition and the, and the fifth time out of the 23 times that the Black Stars have competed. Charles, why did it go wrong for the Black Stars? Hmm. I, I guess well enough, I'm, I'm a I'm the wrong person to answer this uh, question because I'll be considered emotional. I'll be considered as being against a team. But fact is that I'm a Ghanaian. Fact is that I'm a journalist. Fact is that I'm a, an administrator. So I could speak from the administrative angle. But generally, if the Black Stars win, it adds to my profile as a Ghanaian because anywhere you go you're from Ghana oh black stars and we travel we hear these things it's helped us uh, as a journalist I remember I was traveling to the States I had uh, my my visa was going to expire the day I was entering into America so I met an immigration officer he engaged me I said Ghana then he said oh Asamoah remember we had beaten them he took me out of the queue took me straight to the box and I was taken care of. These things help us a lot. As a journalist, what, I mean, as Wizard TV, once the stars do well, it brings something to the table. So we all wish that the team performs. How it happened, I can only speak as a journalist, but I don't administer or manage the team. We have different opinions, but if you continue to do the same thing all the time, you do not respect different results. Our managers have disappointed us. The caretakers haven't been fair to us. They haven't been truthful to us. And I think that there should be some drastic action. If we do not change the way we do things, if we do not understand that football is a cycle and that if you manage well, you won't go off the cycle. If you don't manage well, you go off the cycle and you need to begin preparation all together again. Maybe when we come back, I'll give you examples of how cycles are managed and all that. But as far as this game is concerned, uh, before the game I told you that we, we had a bad uh, bench. That is our coach is empty. That thing is empty. Uh, Aside that, we saw a number of tactical and discipline and all that. But I am particularly happy that in this game we scored two goals. I am happy that in this game we saw all the players fighting, not because Comoros is a weak team, but I saw the Black Stars I wanted to see. I saw that fighting spirit. The coach disappointed us by the changes he did. But remember, off camera, we had said something. Some adversities and problems are good. Our captain was red carded, very unfortunate. But soon as he was out of the field, you realize all our boys began playing the kind of game we wanted them to play. So um, sad, disappointed, but I'm happy for the team and the boys. We live to fight again. Felix, your, your views on the game. Yeah, I think uh, we are all sad that uh, our blasters were not able to, I think, win today. I think you were emphasizing that at least we should draw so that at least we should not be last on the bottom. But uh, I think today is the best games that the blasters have ever played for the last four or five matches that I've seen against Algeria, Morocco and other things. And uh, I'm very happy for them because we didn't disgrace ourselves, I think, uh, they play one of the best games that 
we have ever seen. Uh, a tactically uh, a point of view, I want to say that the, even the changes came too far, too late. You know, I was expecting that after the day was shown the record, immediately should have made that change that he made uh, so that those who were coming in, uh, they should have had enough time at least to gear themselves up and make sure that uh, they get into the game and they, and, and, uh, uh, they came and they perform and they score. Uh, today was, uh, this game was, I, I think, the, 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 the best game so far. All the boys were fighting for the, for the team. Uh, they, they were they were they were they were playing like Ghanaians the way we want them to see and uh, we we didn't disgrace ourselves but unfortunately we are out from the competition. It's a it's a bad omen for Ghana football uh, because uh, we have to reorganize the team again and uh, make sure that we we put young players into it those who can play the national team for the next four five six years. And then retire some of them. Uh, some of them are, are not fit for our national team, and, and on on we go. But today is a very, very sad day for Ghana football. Felix believes that some of the players and probably some of the 10 mem team members are not fit for purpose and they should be done away with. Charles, wh where do we go from here? We have a key World Cup playoff coming up. We have the coaches' contracts coming up at the end of, of, of next month. Wh where, where do we go from here? Well, you know, we, we shouldn't have waited till this time um, you saw Samuel Ousu come in that small thing he did you saw uh, Pencil come in the aggression with which he came into the game you saw this guy starting today um, Isahaku and I was so disappointed the coach took him out he was the only person who was trying at goals I was so disappointed the coach took him out but it's already been destroyed where we need to go or focus on i have said that this team is a team of the future we shouldn't discourage the boys maybe we need to change the manager we need to psych the guys and tell them that look you are new in this tournament hardly do newcomers win so let's go get prepared and come back next year fortunately not in two years next year we're going to Cote d'Ivoire if we're able to manage these guys well if we're able to psych them and get them a quality manager by which time they would have had quality matches in Europe they would have been become tougher players then we can go into Cote d'Ivoire and then see what we can do we need not press any panic button apart from the fact that I have started a campaign of sack coach Milo now sack coach Milo now hashtag sack coach Milo now um, his excellency and the people who manage football in this country I am a journalist I'm a football person even though I'm doing arm wrestling football means so much to us we do not need that empty thing if indeed we want to play well in the last qualifier if indeed we want to get into Cote d'Ivoire, if indeed we want to prepare a quality team for the future, it must be done without this empty team. Felix, do you believe that the, the solution that Charles is, is prescribing, which is that keep the team as it is, get them a better quality manager, and the future will be bright? Is this something that you subscribe to? Yeah, you see, in football, when things doesn't go right uh, when things go wrong like this uh, you need to recycle you know sometimes if you recycle it becomes much better uh, uh, this time around you see uh, the, co the team spirit of the team was down cohesion was not working and uh, you, you could feel that th there, there is no organization in the team so why not uh, what uncle Charles is saying is right we have to build another team you know and make sure that we put uh, young players together for the for the future uh, I, I felt that uh, the team was not was not good enough when we play against uh, South Africa when the, the, the we got that uh, that that faithful penalty which I think we didn't play well on that that that, that faithful day so from that moment up to this this time around we we're not playing so good and uh, we could feel that the team was was not was not in, in, in good hands 
the whole country was not uh, uh, was not trying to support the team. So I'm not surprised that we are we are coming home. So uh, we need to be the, a, a young team, young team that can for the next five years can be the Ghana team that we want to be. So it's a welcome news, and let's try it. It will work because when at this time you could see that s some of the players are, are old enough, you know, they feel that the the blaster belongs to them. So why don't you take them out and bring young players who can perform for us? So it's good. It's good that we are coming home. Let's organize ourselves. Then we, we, we see for the next two, three, four years. The, the current GFA administration uh, came into office with uh, a promise to bring back the love. You'll see the hashtag, bring back the love everywhere. But it looks like the, the, lo the love is sipping and is dissipating quickly. Charles? Um, personally, I don't think Keto Kriku is doing bad. Personally. But this Black Stars performance, the approach and the attitude uh, probably has had a dent on his administration. And I feel that uh, the best thing that will make Ghanaians happy is to take that drastic decision, first of all, to sack Milovan Ryback. Secondly, to immediately get us a stopgap coach who would qualify Ghana to the World Cup. Once he's able to do that, then I'm sure Ghanaians won't, you know, Ghanaians will forget about all the bad things that have happened. But indeed, uh, we have a lot of work to do. Once we get tactical, we should be able to turn things around. I am sad because I have said that we have been disappointed by our coach. When everybody realized or knew that if indeed you want to play three back, the best option was for you to take out the right full back and then you take Baba Raman out. And look at the kind of changes he did and the people he threw into the game. So you knew all this from match one. You waited till match three. He has disappointed us. If there's anything in the clause that he has to pay us some money, he has to pay us and leave. We I, I am not saying that we can have another expert, but now I'm saying that he should be fired. But the future, I don't think is too bad. Sometimes you need experience, but I've sat quietly to say that Pate doesn't need experience. Daniel Amate doesn't need experience. Jiku doesn't need experience. Isahaku, yes, Isahaku, but uh, uh, what is his name? Kamal Dean doesn't need experience. Uh, the guy who is injured, Kudus. Kudus. This is somebody who plays for Ajax. What kind of experience does he need to play in Afghan? So for those who say you must keep experienced players in the team, blah, 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 blah. It is not always like that. People have come. So, so the Sierra Leone's and the, all those small, small teams. Well, what do they have? What do they have? I think it is important. Experience is here. Experience is the number of performances and the things you do. The experienced players in the team, what did they do for us? It is important we get things done right and Ghana will rise again. You have joined us with your comments on WhatsApp number 055 269 Let, Let's hear your 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 prescriptions on what we need to do to ensure that the black stars become the force that they, they once were share your views on what needs to be done to ensure that we bring back the love because it doesn't appear that many Ghanaians are throwing their or investing their emotions into these black stars and if we do not support the black stars with with our emotions things things will not probably go well for them felix you know mindset is important in this game, we went down by uh, one man. We're playing 10 against 11. But it appears, in terms of patterns of play, this game was one of the better games that the, or the best game the Black Stars have played in this tournament when we were a man down. Is it that they were just determined to win or there is some other dynamic that we are not aware of? Yeah, I think uh, when they, they got that faithful record, that I don't know, energized the whole team to, to play above themselves. I would have wished that 
with our 11 11 on the field of field, they should have even played much better than what they did with the 10 men. I don't know what exactly transformed the team into playing so much well, but I believe uh, uh, there's a future for them because when, when you see the last uh, 30 minutes of, of play to the end of the, of the match, I could see the energetic of uh, Pate going surging forward, uh, which I didn't see in the last two, two matches. Uh, you could see uh, Jiku surging forward to go and join attack and uh, 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 Daniel Mate and others. You know, everybody was working so hard. So there's future for them. You know, there's future. We should not uh, look at it as if we are out so that uh, Ghana football is finished. We have a future and uh, if we can build another team, I think uh, the future is bright. Well, you realize that um, just as you asked Felix, so two things probably. Uh, will be the answer. One, the players realize that, okay, we're being punished, our captain is out, we must play for our captain. That is probably one, one side of the answer. So they said, let us play for our captain and save Ghana. But again, I still maintain and I say that tactical and discipline. So maybe he was a problem. Soon as he got out of the team, everybody began playing above their level. So we must, we must look at all that. And it is why I sometimes subscribe to what Felix is proposing. I'm sure if he was the coach, he would take some tough decisions. And it is important. I do not, again, off camera, I was advocating Jordan should score, Jordan should score. Ghanaians are fed up with Jordan. I am not. I see that he's a hard-working striker. Unfortunately, the goals are not coming. He's human. So maybe something is wrong. He should sit down, uh, do self-introspection, analyze the way he plays and all that, and then get things right. I do not think Jordan is a bad player. I do not think Jordan is a bad player. So. I won't generally advocate that everybody should be out of the team. But those we don't need anymore should leave us for us to concentrate on the team. As Ghanaians, we are disappointed with the result this evening, but we would not give up. We will go on a short commercial break. When we come back, we will round up the discussion. Saver card has taken Market Day Wednesday shopping to another level. It's easy. Get registered on the Malcolm Super Saver card at any Malcolm branch nationwide and enjoy 5% discount on purchases worth 150 Ghana CDs and above every day. 10% discount on purchases worth 250 Ghana CDs and above every first and third Wednesday of each month. Super Saver card, the, the original, original CD saver. saver. Terms and conditions apply. Errors and omissions accepted. Malcolm, we're Ghana shopping. In a world where you can be anything, who will you become? When you can go anywhere and never be alone, how far will you go? When your voice can reach every ear in the world, who will you inspire? When your money can travel faster and further, who will it reach? When you can tell a story in every language, which one will you tell? When you don't need permission to turn your dreams into reality, you go for it. Whatever it is, wherever it is, go. And when you think you've reached your limit, we'll keep you going. Let's go. Welcome back. Tomorrow, the action switches to Group D, where Egypt faces Sudan and Guinea-Bissau comes up against Nigeria. Nigeria is leading the group with six points. Egypt has one point. Guinea-Bissau has one point. Charles, you know, we've come to the end of the road for the Black Stars. The, the tournament continues. Nigeria have been very impressive so far. Tomorrow, they come up against Guinea-Bissau. You see them winning that game and finishing the, the group with nine points. Well, Nigeria have played well, even with the second team. 
they will, they, will, they they may deal with uh, they will be able to deal with Guinea Bissau. If you look at the tournament, those who mean business, all the top guys except um, Algeria are gradually showing that they are big boys and um, they have business to do. So um, Nigeria will comfortably uh, lead the group. Um, and then we see because Cameroon, who is also a big boy, not just a host, is true. Uh, group B, you see that whoever is also the big boy is going. Even our group, Morocco, proved to be the big boys. And they have gone through. So um, that's how it will go. The only disappointment is um, Algeria. But um, probably it is because of the way they came into the tournament. But it's a good game for Nigeria tomorrow. Felix, uh, Egypt lost their first game against Nigeria. They came back in their second game to win. They have three points. They are coming up against uh, Sudan tomorrow. Do uh, you see Egypt tough. making it through to the, the next round, or you think it's going to be a tough game for them? They are uh, neighbors, you know. Egypt and Sudan, they are neighbors, and uh, they know each other, you know. And uh, they know how Egypt is a, a powerhouse in all the African continent. And... Uh, I think they will override Sudan because uh, Egypt, uh, they are trying to pick up the pieces. Uh, the first game, they didn't get it right. Second match, they won even, they, they struggled to win. But I think the third time, they are going to uh, uh, sell through. Uh, I believe uh, they are powerhouse and uh, tomorrow they will win very comfortably. Mm. So we have some comments. Alex, Alex Atibio from Asaman says, today the Black Stars deal did very well but it is too late. Uh, Robert from Kaduna in Nigeria says, it is over now, time to start rebuilding again. Igwe Onyedika from Nigeria also says, good evening, Wazo TV. I appreciate all you, you are doing. Black Stars of Ghana did well. The coach has to go where he came from. Wazo TV, God bless you all. Henry Ni Kwate Vanderpoy says, good evening, Wazo TV. Great, great presentation you have in the studio. Hashtag Sack Milo now my strength. My regards to Charles. He was my PE teacher in Ebenezer Secondary School. So yeah. Charles, that, that's, that's for you. <laughs> Another message said, we lost the game from the bench. The coach was not up to the task. I wonder why he kept Jordan in the game and took Isaku out of the game. Trust me, I can use these players to win the World Cup. As much disappointed. That's Dollar from Shia. Then Abdul Rahman Adam from North East Region says, Charles Osei has said it all and I think it's a point. Ghana needs to rise again gentlemen we will bring the discussion uh, to an end here thank you very much for your insightful analysis from the comments it's clear that our viewers enjoy the the points you made in the discussion and hopefully we'll have you back on set before the tournament ends thank you very much uh, when ghana advances no ghana is out so <laughs> so we, 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 we ghana is obviously out so, but the, the tournament continues and we, we hope I'll, that you I'll, I'll join support, us i'll support nigeria you, you support nigeria <laughs> charles who uh, Felix, who will he be supporting? Egypt. Egypt. Oh, you that? know he played. He, he played, he he played, played in Egypt. Egypt. Oh. And, and, and so that, he played for both. That's why he rise up. He will rise up again. He rise again. You are, you are supporting. The chance is going for 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 Nigeria. I, I will keep my my prediction now. And in the next round, I will tell you who I will be. I will be supporting. Viewers, thank you very much for joining us on our coverage of the Afcon. This is Wazor TV. See you again tomorrow when we bring you the action from Group D. Good night. <laughs>